What's good, well builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about how to start a mobile beauty supply store. So let's go. Now tuned into the greatest. Okay. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get on the topic on hand, how to start a mobile beauty supply store. Okay, so I know you've heard of like a mobile beauty supply, like, I mean, a mobile beauty salon, you know what I'm saying, somewhere people come or go to, they come to your house or whatever and they do your hair or cut your hair, mobile barber shop or mobile barber and things like that. But there are tons of beauty salons and barbers, you know what I'm saying, that are pretty much at a location. They have a, you know, a storefront and people come to them to get the hair done, to get the hair cut and things like that, right? And a lot of time they need certain products and sometimes they run out of it. Maybe they got to run to the beauty supply store to go get that product or maybe they got to wait till they ordered it or it's coming in or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they just ran out of it and they just don't have the time to go get it at all or order it. You know what I'm saying? But with this business, you become the go-to guy for these people. You are the go-to guy for the emergencies. You are the go-to guy for the one-off buys. You are the go-to guy that people just say, hey, I need this right now. You know what I'm saying? So you're almost like... You're almost cutting out the middleman or the travel time of a barbershop or barber or salon or, or hairstylist has to go to a beauty supply store. Okay, so what exactly do you need to start a mobile beauty supply store business? First and foremost, get yourself a LLC, okay? If you don't know what an LLC is, it's a limited liability company, okay? This will help you to get your business insured and you can use it to gain access to other perks, okay? And there's a video link in the description if you wanna check out my video on what a limited liability company is, the whole breakdown, all that good stuff, okay? Now, like, if you want to expand Band to other areas, an LLC is what you need, okay? Or if you want to hire people, then having an LLC from the beginning is to is the way to go. A EIN number and a sole proprietorship, you don't want to just have that because that's just going to put you in a pigeonhole and you're not going to be able to expand that quickly. You're going to have to spend more money to go ahead and start an LLC. So you might as well do it now. Okay, next, you will need a cargo van, okay, to hold your product. Now, you could sell it out your trunk, you know what I'm saying, like the back of your car or something like that, but this is worst case scenario. If you can afford it, you need to buy a van. I personally would do a used van somewhere I can pay like anywhere between $2,000 to $5,000 for a cargo van, okay, because you, you want to have something that kind of sets you apart. You don't want to be just some guy riding around or some girl riding around in her car selling beauty products. You want to be in a van, okay? And I would get it wrapped. Wrapped means like you would put like an advertisement around the van and so when people see your van or see you riding in the van, you're kind of advertising as you're riding to different locations, what you're doing, what you're selling, things like that, okay? You can do this with all different types of businesses, but for mobile businesses, this is the best way to do it. You will also need business cards and flyers at some point. You will need a website to have your customers go to if they can't get to you, okay? And that means a domain name, which is about anywhere between a dollar to $10, depending on what domain name you wanna buy. And then you can actually start your hosting, okay? Usually fairly cheap, about 10 to $20 per month for hosting. Okay, I'll have a link in the description for all that. Um, now, now, with all that being said, the product, the product should be geared toward the different types of customers. There's two different types of customers you're able to sell to. And that's the dope thing about this 
this business because you're not pigeon held, you know what I'm saying, to one customer. You have two different customers. Your first customer is the beauty shops and barber shops in your neighborhood, okay? You want to become their direct supplier and for of different products for the shop and you want to be the supplier for their customers, okay? So say like you go to salon and they ran out a certain hairspray or a certain hair gel, or maybe somebody curl and iron died, or maybe somebody um, needs some type of product for hair, whatever, nails, whatever it is. You have the access to these products either on hand in your van or somewhere you can order and they'll have it the next day okay yeah there's a lot of websites out there that they can do it with but if you're right in front of them or if they have your card or they know you personally or they talk to you before they're gonna give you a call they're gonna call you into the shop see if you got that product and if you have that product you can just ride it right over and make a sale okay so basically that's it you literally ride around to different locations and sell your supplies out of your van or car okay this is why you want to get your van wrapped or car wrapped because you will look much more professional you can source your products from from a few different places okay you can get products from amazon wholesale um your local wholesale dealer if you if you have some in your local area i know i'm here in atlanta and they have tons of local wholesalers okay beauty supply products and any other online sites okay i have a few listed below in the description but amazon is the easiest one to use so basically then you can have it delivered to the customer yourself or have a delivery service like ups or fedex to drop off the product check the blog link to read these steps if you want to have a reference but honestly if you don't have a problem with talking to people and building business relationships then this is a great business for you to start so there you have it this is how you start a mobile beauty supply business thanks for watching it's your boy devon signing off do remember what builders make more save more build more peace it's the Wealth Builders, baby!